Hey guys, Trevor with Shadow Systems. It's Technical Tuesday. Today we're going to decipher some of the nomenclature for our product. I know this, this is becoming more of an issue now that we have more models to choose from. And so I'm going to talk about what MR, DR, XR, what that stuff means. I know I've shown the guns before and I've kind of described them mechanically a little bit, like what is different. But today I'm going to actually also talk about what the use cases are. And by use case, I mean how it should fit into your personal battery. Okay. Uh, all right. I think the best way to do it might actually be chronologically because we released them going back to 2019. We really released them in an order that kind of made sense. Uh, and so that's the way I'm going to do it. All right. So the MR920 was kind of the first gun and I've got one right here. Okay. And MR920 is MR multi-role. Okay. What do we mean by multi-role? Well, the 15 plus one compact size handgun has long kind of been, you know, regarded as a gun that does it, does everything pretty well. Okay. So I'm, I'm just going to add capacity because that'll give you an indication of frame size and then barrel length for the unthreaded barrel, roughly four inches. And this is multi-role. It does great on the range as a competition gun. It's small enough to carry, particularly if you don't put the magazine well on. It is great as a home defense gun. It's a gun that is not difficult to shoot, meaning as guns get smaller, they get more difficult to shoot normally. So it's, it's a gun that's not difficult to shoot, but it's at a slightly more compact size. So therefore it can kind of fill more roles in your life. Multi-role. Does it all. Okay. That is the MR920. Now, if you take this gun and you lengthen both the barrel and the slide, you get to the DR920. Okay, the DR920 is a true conventional full-size gun. And I say it's conventional because this is the kind of gun that you would normally see in like a military holster or a police officer's holster, okay? Uh, it is a duty roll, nine, two, zero, okay? And I probably should put this off to the right. Multi-duty. So here, now we're 17 plus 1 and 4.5 inches, approximately. Okay, so this is the gun that makes sense. Not so much if you want to carry concealed, although there are people that do carry them. If you're a larger person and you have larger hands, then, you know, a full-length grip might make sense. So there are people that carry these concealed, but this would be more in a conventional duty role, what you would think of as like a holster pistol, right? Um, also good for, uh, you know, competitive shooting where you have... Uh, you know, you want to have a little bigger gun with a little more capacity and a little more shootability. The longer sight radius on this gun is going to make it a little bit easier to shoot. If you're talking no optics, iron sights, little easier to shoot than the MR, larger grip, little easier to hold on to maybe. But again, you're kind of sacrificing some of the compact carryability of an MR920. Okay. All right. Um, I sort of skipped over it, but I'm going to mention it. There's also the MR920L. Okay. The MR920L has the same grip frame as an MR, but it has the long slide of the duty roll gun. It has the long slide four and a half inch. So let me, let me show that. So MR920L, we're back to 15 plus one, but we've got the 4.5 inch barrel and it's still multi-roll L. I'm just going to say L over here is long. Okay, so MR920L, multi-roll 920 long slide. Okay, what is the application or use case for this? If you're an iron-sided shooter, this is, in my opinion, the best carry gun we make. The length of the slide doesn't really impact that much the carryability of a gun. It's just sort of going down your pant leg if you're carrying IWB like most people do. So it's not that much harder to conceal. It's probably about the same. It weighs about the same as a regular MR. And the grip is what matters. So you have the grip as the same length as an MR. That's really what affects concealability because that's kind of what's poking out under your shirt. So I say it's the optimum carry gun because in an iron sighted configuration, that longer sight radius really does make it as easy to shoot as the duty roll gun, but the shorter grip makes it easier to carry. Okay. So I, this is kind of my carry gun of choice. 
Uh, it's a little bit of an odd duckling in the sense that it's, it's, you know, there's not very many counterparts out there where you have a short grip and a long slide. You don't really see those with other manufacturers. Um, but this is really optimized for kind of concealed carry iron sight shooting, okay? Suits a little bit softer than the MR2 because of the slide. Okay, so MR920, multi-roll DR920 duty, MR920L, multi-roll long slide. Okay, uh, now we start to get into some of the newer models. Okay, XR920, okay? This is a 17 plus one, four inch barrel, okay? Crossover. That's what the X is for. See what we did there? Uh, so the crossover roll is one is a gun that really started out. You saw it mostly with Glock's 19X pistol. Um, so the crossover roll can be thought of almost as the opposite of a 920L. This had a short grip and a long slide. This one's got a long grip and a short slide. Okay. What is the application for the XR920? Well, you do hear more and more about guns of this type now that we live in a world of optics. Because the reality is if you're shooting an optic, you don't really benefit from having a longer slide that much. You might make the argument that a longer slide shoots a little softer maybe, but as far as accuracy and your ability to get hits and so forth, the optic is, is really doing that for you. So the longer slide doesn't matter. So, so right away, if we're shooting an optic, there's an argument for a shorter slide, okay? Um, why else? Well, some folks would say that a shorter slide is easier to manipulate even in a duty kind of role. So if you're drawing a gun and working inside of a vehicle or even just clearing your holster, especially if you've got a lot of gear on, a shorter slide is theoretically a little faster and more nimble to swing around, move around, get out of your, get out of your gear, avoid obstacles as you move, okay? So shorter slide, but that full capacity grip. This is also for those of you that do want a shorter slide carry gun, but you have giant hands, the XR920 makes a lot of sense, okay? But now you, you, you know, with these models here, you kind of have every possible permutation of slide and grip, okay? All right, um, now we get into the newer, newer models. Okay, uh, we'll do this one first. The DR920P, okay. This is a 17 plus one, four point, Five inch, so so far it's the same as the DR here, okay? But P is for performance. I'm standing where you can't see that. Performance. Okay, which is another way of saying compensated. So the DR920P is a compensated full size 17 plus one pistol. Okay, so why is why is this gun cool? Well, I think it used to be the case that compensators were regarded mostly as kind of like a range gimmick, sort of fun to shoot, or you see them in the, you know, in the competition shooting world. More and more competition or compensators are becoming mainstream. And it was interesting, even when we debuted this gun at uh, SHOT Show, we even had some, uh, on range day, we had some agencies, some SWAT guys shooting this gun, and they said, why are we carrying this? And the natural inclination with compensated guns is to say, well, they don't really have a lot of application in, in a tactical world because they're really loud, a lot of concussion. But you could make the argument, frankly, if you're in a whole lot of gear and you're in a, on an entry team and you've got hearing protection on anyway, that you can actually get away with that concussion. So um, it, it's a really, really flat shooting, full-size handgun, okay? What is the application here? Uh, if, if someone is recoil sensitive, Okay, that might be a good application. They're really fun to shoot fast. Out to about 15 yards, you can just, with this compensator design that we've created, just almost blip the trigger twice and send a controlled pair right into the A zone of a target. So it really is an easy gun to shoot. Um, we mounted the front sight on the compensator, so it tracks super, super flat. So you have the benefit of the compensator, but you also have the benefit of the front sight hanging out there. So it's not bouncing up and down and moving around as much as if it was reciprocating on the slide. Okay, so DR920P, the performance version, the compensated version of the DR920. Okay, all right. Then the last one is the CR920. Okay, the CR920 is what we would call the covert roll gun, CR920. This is a, I'll show you both extended and standard capacity 
the extended capacity is 13 plus 1, the standard capacity is 10 plus 1, and it's got a, oh geez, what is it, 3.8 I think? It's short, 3.8 inch barrel, and this is going to be the covert gun. See, because the way I see it, you kind of want to carry the biggest gun that you can carry comfortably, depending upon what the, call it, the, the threat condition is. So there are simply cases where you can't get away with carrying one of these bigger guns. Or maybe you just don't want to because of size and weight considerations. So the CR920 is the gun for that. Now, the guns that look like this are historically a real pain in the butt to shoot, okay? I would argue that this is about the only subcompact gun out there that's actually fun to shoot. And it's got a lot to do with how we design the frame and the texture we use and some other aspects of the gun that make it pretty pleasant to use. Um, but of course, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a lot harder to shoot accurately at extended distance than one of the bigger guns, okay? This is the 10 plus 1 flush fit magazine, and I think it's really important to understand something. We do use a proprietary magazine for the CR920 because there was no other magazine that existed that had this short length and, and held a full 10 rounds that would operate in our operating system. So you get a really short 10 round version that is actually, if you have bigger pockets, is actually pocket carryable. You can put a pocket holster in there and you can actually carry this gun in a pocket. And that was the idea was, I think some of the subcompact guns are getting a little bit big uh, and we wanted to keep it really small. So it had a clearly defined role in the lineup. It wasn't just, you know, a, a skinnier MR or something like that. With the, with the, uh, the 13 plus one grip, it actually is still kind of pocket carryable, although I would say it's maybe starting to push it a little bit on grip size, and you get that extra little uh, pinky rest on it, and you get 13 plus one in the gun, okay? So that is the CR920 covert roll pistol, okay? Okay, um, just to kind of finish the conversation here, briefly, when you look at these, these numbers, so the nine is caliber. So any, any design that has a 9 as the leading number, let's just say someday we have a ZP923 or something. Uh, by the way, we don't. That wasn't like an Easter egg for a gun that's coming. I made that up. So the 9 would be the caliber. If we were to do a 40 someday, it would probably be a 4. If we were to do like a 357 SIG, maybe it would be a 7. If we were to do a 45, maybe it would be a 5. You know, This, these last two numbers are kind of like the model year. Think like a 1911, okay? So... The model year essentially is the year that that feature set was designed. The feature set that, were, that has, has kind of uh, uh, gone across this whole lineup really started with the MR920 and we have kind of the same front and rear serrations with beveled cuts, top serrations, sight type and so on, uh, you know, frame characteristics, the way the trigger is shaped, the trigger pull, all those things that are kind of like the core elements of the design were all developed back in 20. So if we did a fundamental shift or maybe had a, you know, a double action, single action design or something that was a fundamental shift, then that would become a new kind of model year gun, okay? But these are all based on the same kind of uh, 2020 baseline design. Okay, um, what's my favorite? Uh, well, I think that the MR920L is kind of my favorite because it's weird and because it's really easy to shoot and I tend to be an iron sight guy. What's kind of the most practical gun if you were going to only own one? Probably the MR920. What's the easiest one to shoot? Probably the DR920P. What's the smallest one that's like, you know, maybe not as fun to shoot, but really practical and flexible and how you can incorporate it into your life? Probably the CR920. By the way, our CR920 does have a rail that fits the little micro lights. And we do have our patented optic cut, not on this version, but there are, there are versions that have a patented optic cut. So I could very easily make the argument that with a, with a optic on the gun and a light and a 13 plus one magazine, it's right at home as a, you know, as a nightstand gun. I mean, it's still a great home defense gun, okay? All right, questions, ask them. We appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.